Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and today I'm going to share with you how you can get equity in very successful seven-figure businesses in return for co consulting. So let's get to it. So hey guys, today I'm going to share with you a little bit more on some of the different structures that you can have when you're working on a deal. Now, most people when they come and watch my channel, they're, they're looking at this channel, they're like, oh man, this is cool, I can buy businesses. Uh, but they think that they need millions of dollars in their in their bank account in order to buy those businesses now do i know people who used all of their money to buy multi-million dollar businesses yes and do i know uh horror stories and success stories from those uh opportunities yes like i know people i literally had a call this week with someone who spent all of his life savings i'm talking multiple six figures in one deal in a hotel business uh, that have restaurants in it and literally, he, I think he bankrupt, like I'm not sure the exact, but he, he had to shut down the business. It just didn't work, right? He got himself into an industry that he knows nothing about, put all of his life savings just because, I mean, I mean, obviously it's exciting to buy a business, right? Now, when I work with my clients, I share with them, like I think we have eight or nine different structures where you can get a deal with a business that isn't involved any of your own cash. Cash is, cash is just one way to structure a deal with a seller, with a business owner, but there are so many different opportunities, right? And it can be, your cash is just one way. This can be other people's cash or some of the things that I'm gonna share with you today is how you can get equity in those businesses in return for some value that you bring or for consulting or for however you wanna call it, right? So it's equity for value or equity for consulting because you can bring value to the table that can be consulting in terms of your knowledge and experience and expertise and you can also get equity in those businesses in return for any other value that you can bring to the table. And that's what I wanna share with you today. Now, obviously, if you can follow those things, and I've done many of those deals where people literally give me equity in their businesses in return for some value that I can bring to the table. It can be an amazing way to structure a deal and a very lucrative way to structure a deal, but you need to also be careful in terms of your legals and structure and contracts to make sure that you're basically not getting fucked up with those deals, right? And that's what I want to expand on today as well. So first of all, in order to do those deals, uh, some of probably one of the most important thing you can do and based on what I just told you is that when you go to a sector, make sure that you know enough about that sector. Now, if you don't know enough about that sector, research that sector. Like sometimes all you need to know a lot about the sector is to talk to 20 or 30 business owners in that sector and learn everything that you can. Now you're saying, hey, why would someone share with me all everything about their business? Well, with my clients, that's what I teach them. I teach them, hey, go and present yourself as a buyer, as an investor. And obviously as a potential buyer, they're gonna share everything with you. They're gonna share with you more about their business than they're sharing with their wife. Like probably the only person who's gonna know more about their business is like their accountant and perhaps the lawyer, right? Mostly just their accountant and you, cause you're the potential buyer. You are in there to figure out if their business is even a fit for you to get involved with, right? So that's the first thing. You gotta get involved with businesses that you know something about, that you have some passion about, some experience ideally, some contacts in that net or network in that sector. Now, at the same time, be careful. Like I know many people who come to me, they take months to pick a sector. That's not the way to do it. You need to pick a sector and run with it. And you can probably learn more about the sector in 20, 30 calls with a business owner than most people know about any business, right? Because I know many people who try to start a business from scratch. Guys, learning from someone who already own a multi seven figure business, uh, you're going to learn more about that sector in business than starting a business from scratch in that business. Because when you start a business from scratch, you're only going to learn a specific lesson on that business, on that sector, based on where you're at in the progress of growing that business, right? So a business that's doing between zero to 100,000 a year um, isn't getting or learning the same lessons as a business who's making like multi seven figure uh, in revenues each year, right? Now, if you don't have experience or contact or passion about a sector, go for a sector that you have curiosity about, that you're thinking with yourself, hey, you know what? I'm willing to learn about this sector because it's interesting to me. So go for those sectors. Go for sectors like, you know what? This is a really, really interesting sector. I'll go and learn that sector and I'll do that. So that's another opportunity and idea for you. Now, in terms of how you do those deals, right? So how do you get equity in return for value or equity? I can give you a case study uh, and share with you based on that case study what you can do and just give you one sample in terms of many other opportunities that I'm working with my clients 
and showing them how to do, I'll show you one example of how you can get value in return for equity in that business. So my friend got a very successful business right now. I'm talking uh, multiple eight figure business, like high end eight figure business, right? Now I'm not saying that everyone got that and I'm not saying that you even need that, but that's just to give you one example on how you can make things work. Now that person got office space, they got amazing softwares and employees and operations and finance departments and pretty much anything that any business in their sector uh, would love to get access to. Now, that friend of mine got now 40% in a very, in, in a seven figure business, just for giving access to some of the things that my friend got, right? So they gave access to an office space, they gave access to uh, a software that if that business owner would need to build from scratch would cost him a small fortune. And they gave access to also other departments like basically they consolidated the, the accounting department. So that person don't need to have any accounting anymore. This guy is handling that, right? And obviously he's also adding value in terms of support for that business. And that's how he get 40% in a seven figure business like that. Now, am I saying that every one of you can do those kind of deals? No, because uh, some of you, well, some of you have eight figure business. So yes, uh, some of you don't then there are many other ways that you can bring value to the table and even de-risk the seller and the business owner that you're getting equity from in terms of how you can negotiate those deals. And I'm talking about lots of those different structures with my clients. There's only so much I can share with this video, but this is an example of showing you how you can get 40% in a seven figure business just by giving access to value that my friend already got. I mean, it's not going to cost him more money to perhaps like having a little bit more of accounting to work for his accountant, or it's not going to cost him more money to give access to a software that he already got and already developed for his business, right? And in terms of office space, you can say it cost him money, but well, in return for what he's getting, the 40% in equity in that deal, that's worth it a lot. And I'm not even talking about the fact that obviously he's willing to give him whatever hours of value, of support, of consulting, so that's part of the deal as well. And that's something you can think about as well, like what value you can bring to the table and what can you get equity in return for. And there are tons of diff different structures that I'm talking about with my clients, because even if you're just getting X amount of uh, equity for consulting, or maybe you even start your uh, deal with just consulting on a flat fee, perhaps that can be translated in equity in the business eventually based on your growth, right? So there are so many different cool structures that you can have if you have some value to bring to the table to those business owners. Now, to have that value, you just need to become, uh, I guess, a more experienced person. Just go out there and learn more and become a better person and, and be more, get more experience under your belt. And that's how you can get more equity in other businesses. Like right now for me, I have many people who come to me and ask me to be on their board, to be their partner, literally just for my experience and my knowledge and my value that I can bring to the table in terms of my time, right? That's just for my time. They want to give me equity in existing businesses or just in their new projects, just for the time that I'm willing to uh, give them back. So think it with yourself, what, what value you can bring to the table in terms of uh, assets that you have or in terms of time and knowledge that you can bring to the table. And I'm definitely, that's something that I'm talking a lot about with my clients. And if you want to learn more about that, see the training below this video. It's going to show you the training of how some of my clients are buying one to three businesses in a year and how you can do the same, even if you don't have millions of dollars in your bank account and how you can structure those cool no, cool, no cash down uh, deals and how you can do the same for yourself. So um, if uh, you didn't yet, please uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to hear some feedback. If you like it, hate it, so I'll know how to uh, get those videos better or um, yeah, stop them for you if you really, really hate me. No, I, I won't do that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I love sharing this with you. I know those are lessons that I wish someone taught me when I started in this journey of business and I know and I hope that it will add value to some of you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.